Hetty. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. I just got back from a trip, and I know you just got back from a trip, so I'm excited that we get to yes. be back at home for each of us and, and catch up a little bit. What are yes, we talking about working. today? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I've been having a bit of an identity crisis. So yesterday um, in my seminar, we were in groups because we have to do a presentation. Mm-hmm. And as I was finding the other members in my group and we were like making a WhatsApp group, you know how it is. Um, one of the girls, she asked me, she said, oh, where are you from? And obviously that's very common because you see how it's like a very international university. And so, mm-hmm. you know, lots of international students. And I said, oh, I'm from London. Like just, you know, I'm like, oh, just boring. I'm just from here, London. Uh-huh. And she was like, oh, I thought you were American. What? Do I sound American? <laughs> As an American, no. Where was... Do you know where she's from? So, um, she's from, like, mainland China. International student. Okay, so not being, like, a native English speaker, that mm. makes more sense. Because if you had told me that, like, somebody else from the UK asked if you were American, I'd be like, yeah, that is... That's crazy. Well... This is the thing, because I've heard this a few times. Oh my gosh. From, like, different people. I've heard, like, sometimes people have said, oh, you sound a bit American. And so I thought, so if it was just, you know, if it was just that one comment, Mm -hmm. I would have been like, okay, you know what, maybe, you know, accents, you know, sometimes they kind of get merged together. But no, it's the fact that, like, this is on top of many other instances. So now I'm kind of, like, having an identity crisis. Like, am I... Do I not sound British? Like, <laughs> do you need to stop but... <laughs> watching like American Netflix and just watch British this is the shows? Thing. So it did make, yeah, it did make me wonder. Like, oh my god, am I just watching too much American TV and YouTube mm-hmm. to the point where it's like actually like changed my accent? And so that's so funny though. Like you, I would say definitely have it like. A recognizable British accent, too? Because I feel like you're... Mm. Do you consider like yourself to have a posh accent? Like, what would you describe it as? See, this is... Okay, this is the thing. So, when it comes to, like, a British accent, I think people say, like, oh, British accent. But then, within, you know, the UK and, like, within Britain, there are so many different accents. Mm-hmm. And they all sound so different. Very, and so very different. when someone says, like... Yeah, and so someone when someone says, like, oh, I love British accents, I'm like, yes, but which one do you mean? Because they all sound so different. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so for me, I don't know, I'd consider myself to have kind of London-ish accent. Okay. But then when people are telling me I sound American and even Australian, I start to question everything. That is too funny. So... I've gotten Australian before, like, <laughs> from other Americans. So I grew up in the Northeast... I don't think I've told you the story. And then I went mm. to college um, in South Carolina, right? So, like, mm. stereotypical, like, the Southern drawl, right? There are definitely accent mm. and, and language differences, like, between where I grew up and where mm. I went to college. And in my first week, like, I was very quickly clocked as, like, a Yankee, right? Having a very yeah. Northern accent. But there oh. were some people, like, who had very thick, what I would consider a very thick, like, southern drawl, who would who'd be like, oh, are you from Australia? Mm. And I was like, no. <gasps> like, I don't, I guess I didn't, I definitely, like, w- had a stronger, like, Boston accent and didn't say my R's as pronounced as I mm. do now, like, having worked with, um, like, non-native, teaching English to non-native students, like, I've definitely mm, mm, mm. rounded out my accent to be a little bit more, like, general yeah. American and not as obvious. Mm. Um, like from what region I'm from, but that like cracked me up. So I get it. It did not happen as often. It literally Australian? happened one time, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Uh, uh. And like suddenly you feel so self conscious. Like, oh my god. Like, do I need to like? So now when I say something, I'm like, water, water. <laughs> like I'm like I'm watching water. Bridgerton right That's now. Really I'm like, funny. oh my gosh. <laughs> but. Yes, yeah, so I yeah, just think you it's, have to it's just, just go so full crazy. Send. But even like how our accents can change. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. also, I had another question. So, when it comes to America, so I think another thing. So, within like English speaking countries, mm-hmm. there are so many different accents that maybe, unless you're from there, you don't really pick up on. Oh, right? sure. Mm-hmm. 
So um, for me, like, when I think of America, there are kind of three main accents that stick out to me. Okay. There's, like, um, there's kind of, like, the New York, like, New... I can't, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Like, New York. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You uh-huh. know, like, a very New York accent. Like, um, like, think of, like, you know, like, Margot Robbie, like, when she does, like, the kind of... Is it, like, a Boston, New York accent in, like, Wolf of Wall Street? Oh, I have not seen that. I'm trying to think. It's probably more, like, older, almost, like, older Italian New York accents or a little yeah, bit. They just maybe. They just sound yeah. more, like, harsh. Um, like, okay. I'm walking here. Yes. Like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like, Sopranos. Like, that would be, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, like, that's that accent, number one. Okay. Then there's, like, the typical Southern, like, how do y'all, mm-hmm. like, Southern American accent. Mm-hmm. And then there's, like, the Valley Girl. Mm. Like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. So when I think of America, those are, like, the three accents I think of. So okay. unless someone has, like, one of those accents, I have no idea where they're from in America. And that makes sense. Like, you wouldn't Mm. right unless you were watching like movies or tv shows that were very specific to one area Mm. right and like how people like the dialect of that Mm. area or the accent of that area like that makes total sense um I would say like I can typically tell where like the region that somebody's from or maybe like yeah it's, it's more regional um because, yeah. like, we'll call, like, the Boston accent, but, like, you'll find that all up and down New England. Like, you don't have to be from Boston mm. proper to have the, like, you know, ka, like, not saying your R's. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. the South, like, the Southern drawl of, like, the like the Carolinas, let's say, and, like, Georgia, and there are very, many different accents mm. within there, are much different than, like, the Texas y'all. <gasps> Oh, see, I feel like I just kind of lump in my head. Again, again, I've never been to America, by the way, listeners. Like, I've never been to America. (laughs) My experience of Americans are basically like Americans I've met in London or Korea. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, I feel like very ignorant on this. So to me, if I hear like a Southern accent, like I just kind of group it all together. Yeah, So which makes sense. I wouldn't be able to tell like which state exactly. Yeah, and we do that for... Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. and Americans will do that for, like, Brits and for, like, Australia. Mm. And I, I mean, I'm sure, like, West. So we have a friend who is Irish, right, who moved to yeah. Alabama in the U.S. And he has said all mm. the time that, like, nobody has any idea where the hell he's from. Where the heck he's from. <laughs> because. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because um, his accent, mm. it, it sounds foreign. But if you haven't like traveled or like again watch tv shows from that specific area you just know that it sounds different than your Mm. your area but you're not going to know exactly where it's from i saw this tiktok too where um it was like making fun of dumb americans being like Mm. you know because there are so many different uh accents within close proximity in like england let's say itself that And, like, why does that happen? Because the U.S. doesn't have that. And they were, like, these accents developed before people traveled. Like, while it was still horse and buggy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right? Like, isn't that such an interesting way to think about it? Because, like, yeah, you would never travel too far from where you grew up because you physically couldn't unless you walked or unless you were rich enough to have, like, a a horse and buggy transportation. So the accents, Mm. like, neighborhoods or, like, towns that are right next to each other have very distinct ways of speaking because it's very homegrown like it it developed over hundreds of years whereas in the U.S. obviously like by the time people got Mm. over here they were more mobile not saying everybody was mobile but like right and because you know for all of like the immigration reasons and stuff so I was like that's such an interesting way of thinking about it because it is like I remember um the first time that I really understood or like heard of all different like British accents was um two of our friends in <laughs> Korea do you know what I'm talking about Lizzie and um I don't remember what his name was but somebody else who we were friends with like that first year who oh. would do a tour of yeah. of England based on accents oh and, yes right yes and oh I was my like God. okay oh yeah so people listening um yeah, our friend Lizzie is amazing at accents. Mm-hmm. I cannot do accents to save my life. Me neither. I am terrible at accents. Um, but our friend Lizzie can do 
oh my god, she is amazing at accents, especially her Liverpool accent. Like she has been mistaken for like a Liverpoolian because That's her accent so is so good. Funny. But yeah, yeah I like, didn't. For real, so, I didn't um, know that there were so many different kinds of British accents, or that they were so like based on where you grew up. I don't know. This this sounds very yeah. ignorant. But anyway, yeah. I think they're also no, no, cool. no. But it's like you don't know until yeah, yeah. And so I think it's especially because it's like it's the media you consume. So for example, like when I watch American shows. I only ever hear like a very general American accent mm-hmm. or like, you know, the very, the stereotypes, you know? Yep. So, and then for like the British shows, you either, like I've often had the Americans when they watch like, you know, kind of British media, it's always like the really kind of posh sounding, like RP, mm-hmm. um, like, oh, hello there. Like, you or know, it's Peaky Blinders Hill, and they have of. very thick, yes! like, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. their accents are part of their character and like, it makes sense. Yeah. But then, at least for me, like, I start thinking now that anyone who has that accent is a Peaky Blinder. Or, like, that's mm. their... <laughs> <laughs> or, like, that's their whole oh persona when there are, yeah. like, there are people of all different kinds that have that same accent because mm. that's just where they grew up, right? So, and, it's yeah, such an... and I think that's, like, it's really transferred to American media, too, because I feel like when I often watch shows or movies that are, like, American and they have a British character in it, it's like they either have like a really kind of like, oh, hello there, how are you doing? Or they have, you know, like a Cockney accent where it's kind of like the East London kind of, hello, love, like, hello, governor, mm-hmm, like this kind mm-hmm. of accent. And so, yes, yes, I think we just kind of, we just, you know, we're just seeing these same images again and again. So we just kind of get used to it. And then when you actually meet people from the UK and you're like, oh, wait. That's not what I'm used to hearing. Or even, so. like, I think it's funny because you and Lizzie do sound different. Like, yeah, you both sound British, <gasps> and you d- mm. clearly don't have the same accent. So, or just, like, the words yeah. that you use or the phrases. Like, it's it's so interesting. And you're right. Like, there, these aren't things that you would mm. pick up on unless you've either met people or, been like, have been people. exposed yeah. to it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And so even this is quite funny I'm sorry just to finish on here but my household everyone in my house has a different accent so I know that sounds crazy okay so my dad is from Wales he has a Welsh like a really strong Welsh accent he's lived in London longer than he's lived in Wales but his Welsh accent is still really strong my mum grew up in the Midlands yeah so she has like a Midlands in the East Midlands accent and my brother he's got a very much more kind of like East London slightly cockney kind of Okay. Sounding accent. And then there's me, who sounds American, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> is that from, do you and your brother have different accents from, like, where you went to school? We went to the same school. But what? I think it's because, as well, um, friendship groups. Like, it's another thing with, like, social circles. You know, like, code switching and stuff. Yeah. So, um, I think it's, yeah. And then, I guess, at university, it's, like, the kind of people. Because even when I see videos of me as a teenager, compared to, like, me um at university I'm like oh my accent has changed at uni so I think it's one of those things you just kind of adapt your accent mm, to the people to that you're around so I don't know I'm just yeah. saying that <laughs> wow well this has been so yeah. interesting I'm glad we got to talk yeah, about it so yeah yeah I feel like there's so much more to cover with this topic mm-hmm. but I won't keep you for much longer Bridget I know you're very busy with work um now you're back But yes, it was great to speak to you today and speak to you next time. See ya. Bye.